My name is Lottie Anderson and I'm an artist. I make work predominantly in and about the group and group dynamics. I would say my way of working is vast. Um, I certainly become deeply concerned with something and I cannot let it go. I work in sketchbooks predominantly, screenshots, writing and my telephone. When I have studio days and I'm developing for a show, I am in here just working with ideas. The whole, and I work like a designer, the whole wall gets covered in references. Um, I'll go through all my phone screenshots, all my computer screenshots, it all gets printed out and it's a process of eliminating and refining. What is the most important thing here? What is the most important thing here? And distilling and distilling and distilling. When I was, when I left, when I dropped out of university, let's be honest. <laughs> so what happened was I ended up working for an amazing tailor called John Pierce, who I assisted for three and a half years. Categorically, the most important thing about working with John Pierce was hearing about where he came from, which is that he had a shop called Granny Takes a Trip in the 60s, which ultimately it was like the supreme of its time. I learned so much just being near him, not just about clothes, but about people and what people want. One of my friends said we should have a Christmas party. So I, I, ten, 10 other friends got together, put some money in a pot and we threw the party. Now, so many people came and I was completely blown away. And subsequently, Maxilla was birthed from that. There was a need for something in that area. And I believe that parties group scenes and elevate them and almost keep them forever. Dance therapy is a piece of, it's an ongoing work. It consists of a shoot that I made. Um, personally, it felt like a way of resolving maxilla. But dance, the thing about dance therapy on a very personal level is I could not, really, really when I, commi when I was commissioned to do it, I couldn't understand why and what I had been so interested in with maxilla, because it wasn't the party. I, and I just thought I have to just keep doing something because it's not finished, but I don't want to be known as the party girl. So we've got, I've got to figure it out. And the, the way to figure it out is to make this work. I'm still fascinated by group situations, so I still, well, very, very special occasions, I will throw a party. Um, I'm doing it exactly like Maxilla. It's the same thing. It's 15 people, it's pure concept. The release, the, the, the invite is a, is a release form. I can't stand being, I made a nightclub with Maxilla or a party that was a safe space with no filming. It was still highly photogenic. What happened then is we've had story culture, Snapchat culture, all these things. So I thought, wouldn't it be funny to throw an entire party like that, but make it official? Because people get so stressed about contracts, don't they? But they don't even realize when you're filming straight into your phone, when you film straight into Instagram, Instagram own your movie. It's not even yours anymore. So that's it.